The Recalter, Chapter 3, God the Son, Article 3, The Infant Jesus, Section 3, Prayers, Prayer 127. Most dear Lord Jesus Christ, who, being made a child for us, didst will to be born in a cave, to free us from the darkness of sin, to draw us unto thee, and to set us on fire with thy holy love. We adore thee as our Creator and Redeemer. We acknowledge thee and choose thee for our King and Lord. And for tribute we offer thee all the affection of our poor hearts. Dear Jesus, our Lord and God, graciously accept this offering and that it may be worthy of thine acceptance, forgive us our sins, enlighten us, and inflame us with that sacred fire which thou camest to bring upon the earth and to enkindle in our hearts. May our souls thus become an altar on which we may offer thee the sacrifice of our mortifications Grant that we may ever seek thy greater glory here on earth, so that one day we may come to enjoy thine infinite loveliness in heaven. Amen. Prayer 128. O divine infant, who, after the wonders of thy birth in Bethlehem, wishing to extend to the whole world thine infinite mercy, didst call the wise men, by heavenly inspiration to thy crib, which was thus converted into a throne of royal grandeur, and didst graciously receive those holy men who were obedient to the divine call and hastened to thy feet, acknowledging thee and worshipping thee as the Prince of Peace, the Redeemer of mankind, and the very Son of God. Ah, uh, Renew in us the proofs of thy goodness and almighty power. Enlighten our minds, strengthen our wills, and inflame our hearts to know thee, to serve thee, and to love thee in this life, meriting thus to enjoy thee eternally in the life to come. Amen. Prayer 129. Eight days being passed, the child was circumcised and his name was called Jesus. In order to melt the hard and frozen heart of sinful man, O divine infant, the cold, the poverty, and the tears of thy manger were not to be enough. Behold, even while the heavenly light and the echo of the angelic harmonies were not yet spent above thy head, a knife of stone passed over thy sacred flesh, work of the Holy Spirit, and drew from thence some drops of blood. Now, in the morning of life, those drops are few, but at eventide thou wilt shed it all, even to its last drop. Ah, uh, make us also understand that we cannot escape the necessity of expiating our guilt and of recovering our freedom of spirit through mortification of the base instincts of our flesh. The grandeur of thy name, O Jesus, went before, accompanied, and followed thy coming upon earth. From eternity the Father carried that name written in gold letters in his mind, and at the dawn of creation, angelic hops intoned a hymn of praise to it, and the holy men of old greeted it from afar with a joyous heartbeat of hope. At its first echoes in the universe, the heavens opened, earth breathed again, and hell trembled. Its history records nothing but triumphs. For twenty centuries it has been the watchword of true believers who have always found in it and will continue to find therein the inspiration and the impelling power to reach the most exalted heights of virtue. It will ever be the sweetest name of all. 
It was spoken over thy manger and inscribed upon the cross, and through all the years it will bring to man's remembrance him who loved us even unto death. O Jesus, take full possession of our hearts and make them live by thy love only until they consecrate their final beating to thee. Amen. Prayer 130. At thy birth, O Jesus, a star of wondrous splendor shone forth in the eastern skies and led to Bethlehem the Magi, those envoys of far distant pagan peoples, even as the angel bathed in heavenly light was summoning to thy manger the shepherds as representatives of the chosen people. For the Gentiles, as well as the Jews, must needs recognize in thee a poor and helpless infant, the almighty king of ages, the savior of mankind. Neither scepter nor diadem disclose thy kingly state, no sweet harmonies, no host of angels mustering round thy crib revealed thy divine nature. But the star, shining above thy wretched stable, pointed to the heavens, the earth and the entire universe as thine absolute possessions. Even as the Magi, who at the inspiration of thy grace, coming promptly from afar, carrying, caring not for dangers, overcoming every difficulty and embracing every sacrifice, reached thy feet and kneeling down in reverence, offered thee their gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Thirsting for God, they had gone eagerly in search of thee, and thou didst reveal thyself to them in a wonderful manner while still in thy crib, filling them with ineffable joys and transforming them into the first messengers of thy glories to the peoples of the Orient. After the appearance of the star, which sufficed to render the Magi thy ardent followers, with what marvels, O Jesus, didst thou demonstrate thy divinity? Yet what darkness still overshadows our poor minds! How reluctantly our wills give way to the loving impulses of thy grace, even when they do not openly resist thee. Give us, therefore, O Jesus, the strength to reply ever promptly and generously to thy call, and grant that thy, the divine light of faith, which was enkindled by thee within us, while still in our cradles, may ever accompany us on the road of life, until, blessed at last in heaven, we shall be able to fix our eyes upon thee in the light of glory. Amen. Article 4. Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. Section 1. Ejacula ejaculatory Prayers and Invocations. Prayer 131. Soul of Christ, be my sanctification. Body of Christ, be my salvation. Blood of Christ, fill all my veins. Water from Christ's side, wash out my stains. Passion of Christ, my comfort be. O good Jesu, listen to me. In thy wounds I fain would hide, ne'er to be parted from thy side. Guard me, should the foe assail me, call me when my life shall fail me. Bid me come to thee above with all thy saints to sing thy love, world without end. Amen. Prayer 132. <clears throat> Hail, saving victim, offered for me, and for all mankind upon the gibbet of the cross. Hail, precious blood, flowing from the wounds of our crucified Lord Jesus Christ and washing away the sins of the whole world. Be mindful, O Lord, of thy creature, whom thou hast redeemed by thy precious blood. Amen. Prayer 133. My Lord and my God. Prayer 134. O Jesus, in the blessed sacrament, have mercy on us. Prayer 135. Praise and adoration evermore be given to the most holy sacrament. 
Prayer 136. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Prayer 137. I adore thee every moment, O living bread from heaven, great sacrament. Prayer 138. O saving victim, opening wide the gate of heaven to man below, our foes press on from every side, thine aid supply, thy strength bestow, to thy great name be endless praise, immortal Godhead, one in three, O grant us endless length of days in our true native land with thee. Amen. Prayer 139. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Prayer 140. Very bread, good shepherd, tend us. Jesu, of thy love, befriend us. Thou refresh us, thou defend us. Thine eternal goodness send us. In the land of life to see, thou who all things canst and knowest, who on earth such food bestowest. Grant us with thy saints, though lowest, where the heavenly feast thou showest, fellow heirs and guests to be. Amen. Prayer 146 Jesus, my God, I adore thee here present in the sacrament of thy love. Section 3, First Communion Prayer 152. O Jesus, who hast loved us with such exceeding great love as to give us the ineffable gift of the Holy Eucharist, inflame us with a burning zeal to promote thy glory by preparing worthily the little children who are to approach thy holy table for the first time. Protect, O sacred heart of Jesus, these young souls from the assaults of evil strengthening their faith, increase their love, and endow them with all the virtues that will make them worthy to receive thee. Amen. St. John the Baptist, forerunner of the Messiah, preparing the way for Jesus and prepare the way for Jesus in the hearts of these children. St. Tarsisius, keep safe the children who are making their first communion. Amen. Section 4, Prayers Before Communion, Prayer 153. As the heart planteth after the water springs, so panteth my soul after thee, O God. Amen. Prayer 154. Come, O Lord, and tarry not. Prayer 155. Let the receiving of thy body, O Lord Jesus Christ, which I, though unworthy, do presume to receive, turn not to me for judgment and condemnation, but according to thy mercy, let it be profitable to me for the receiving of protection and healing, both of soul and body, who livest and reignest forever and ever. Amen. Prayer 156. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldst enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer 157. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ, preserve my soul unto everlasting life. Amen. Prayer 158. Almighty and everlasting God, behold, I come to the sacrament of thine only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, I come as one infirm to the physician of life, as one unclean to the fountain of mercy, as one blind to the light of everlasting brightness, as one poor and needy to the Lord of heaven and earth. Therefore I implore the abundance of thy measureless bounty that thou wouldst vouchsafe to heal my infirmity. Wash my uncleanness, enlighten my blindness, enrich my poverty, and clothe my nakedness, that I may receive the bread of angels, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, with such reverence and humility, 
with such sorrow and devotion, with such purity and faith, with such purpose and intention as may be profitable to my soul's salvation. Grant unto me, I pray, the grace of receiving not only the sacrament of our Lord's body and blood, but also the grace and power of the sacrament. O most gracious God, grant me so to receive the body of thine only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, which he took from the Virgin Mary, as to merit to be incorporated into his mystical body and to be numbered amongst his members. O most loving Father, give me grace to behold forever thy beloved Son with his face at last unveiled, whom I now purpose to receive under the sacramental veil here below. Amen. Section 5. Thanksgiving After Communion How delectable is the sweetness of thy heavenly bread! How admirable is the tranquility, and how perfect the peace of him who receives thee after the contrite and sincere confession of his sins! Be thou blessed a thousand times, my Jesus! When I was in sin, I was unhappy, but now... Not only is my soul at peace, but I seem to have a foretaste of the peace of paradise. Ah, how true it is that our hearts were made for thee, my beloved Lord, and that thee rest only when they rest in thee. Therefore do I give thee thanks and firmly purpose evermore to avoid sin and its occasions, and to fix my abode in thy divine heart, whence I look for help to love thee, even unto death. Amen. Prayer 160. I give thee thanks, Holy Lord, Father, Almighty, everlasting God, who hast vouchsafed to feed me a sinner, thine unworthy servant, for no merits of my own, but only out of the goodness of thy great mercy, with the precious body and blood of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray thee, that this holy communion may be to me not guilt for punishment, but a saving intercession for pardon. Let it be to me an armor of faith and a shield of good will. Let it be to me a casting out of vices, a driving away of all evil desires and fleshly lusts, an increase of charity, patience, humility, obedience, and all virtues, a firm defense against the plots of all my enemies, both seen and unseen, a perfect quieting of all motions of sin, both in my flesh and in my spirit, a firm cleaving unto thee, the only and true God, and a happy ending of my life. And I pray thee to deign to bring me, a sinner, to that ineffable feast where thou, with thy Son and the Holy Ghost, art to thy Holy One's true light, full satisfaction, everlasting joy, consummate pleasure, and perfect happiness. Amen. Prayer 161 My Lord Jesus Christ, most sweet and most kind, who even now of thy great goodness hast entered into this poor and humble abode, adorn it and enrich it with thy treasures, that it may be made worthy of thine indwelling. Take up thy rest therein, that my heart may find its rest in thee alone. Let it not suffice thee, O Lord, to have given me thy sacred body. Give me also the treasures of grace which thou bringest with thee, for it will profit me little to eat the bread of life if I remain unfed by thy grace. Give me, O Lord, a heart completely transformed into thee by love. Give me a life that shall be all thine, a quiet death that shall be the beginning of eternal life. That is what I look for, pray and hope for from thee, my eternal God, by virtue of this blessed sacrament. Amen. Prayer 162. O Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who, according to the will of the Father, with the cooperation of the Holy Spirit, 
hast by thy death given life unto the world, deliver me by thy most sacred body, which I, unworthy, have presumed to receive from all my iniquities and from every evil, and make me ever to hold fast to thy commandments and suffer me never to be separated from thee. Amen. Section 6. A Prayer to Foster the Practice of Daily Communion. Prayer 163. O sweetest Jesu, thou who camest into the world to give all souls the life of thy grace, and who to preserve and nourish it in them hast willed to be at once the daily cure of their daily infirmities and their daily sustenance, we humbly beseech thee by thy heart all on fire with love for us to pour forth upon them all thy divine spirit, so that those who are unhappily in mortal sin may turn to thee and regain the life of grace which they have lost, and those who, through thy gift, are already living this divine life may draw near daily, when they can, to thy sacred table, whence, by means of daily communion, they may receive daily the antidote of their daily venial sins, and may every day foster within themselves the life of grace, and being thus evermore and more purified, may come at last to the possession of that eternal life which is happiness with thee. Amen. Section 7. An Act of Spiritual Communion Prayer 164 My Jesus, I believe that thou art present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love thee above all things, and I desire thee in my soul. Since I cannot now receive thee sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though thou wert already there, I embrace thee and unite myself wholly to thee. Permit me not that I should ever be separated from thee. Amen. St. Alphonsus de Liguri. A second spiritual communion prayer. At thy feet, O my Jesus, I prostrate myself, and I offer thee the repentance of my contrite heart, which is humbled in its nothingness and in thy holy presence. I adore thee in the sacrament of thy love, the ineffable Eucharist. I desire to receive thee into the poor dwelling that my heart offers thee. While waiting for the happiness of sacramental communion, I wish to possess thee in spirit. Come to me, O my Jesus, since I, for my part, am coming to thee. May thy love embrace my whole being in life and in death. I believe in thee, I hope in thee, I love thee. Amen. And that's Raphael Cardinal Mary DeVell. Section 8 Hymn, Rhythm, and Sequence Prayer 165, Him. Sing my tongue the Savior's glory, of his flesh the mystery, sing. Of the blood all price exceeding, shed by our immortal King. Destined for the world's redemption, from a noble womb to spring. Of a pure and spotless virgin, born for us on earth below, he as man with man conversing, stayed the seeds of truth to sow. Then he closed in solemn order, wondrously his life of woe. On the night of that last supper, seated with his chosen band, he, the paschal victim eating, fulfills first the law's command. Then, as food to his apostles, gives himself with his own hand. Word made flesh, the bread of nature, by his word to flesh he turns, wine into his blood he changes. What thou sense no change discerns? Only be the heart in earnest, faith her lesson quickly learns. 
Therefore we, before it bending, this great sacrament adore. Types and shadows have their ending in the new rite evermore. Faith, our outward sense amending, maketh good defects before. Honor, laud, and praise addressing to the Father and the Son, might ascribe we virtue, blessing, and eternal benison. Holy Ghost, from both progressing, equal laud to thee be done. Amen. Thou didst send them bread from heaven, having in itself every delight. Let us pray. O God, who under this wonderful sacrament has left us a memorial of thy passion, grant us, we beseech thee, so to reverence the sacred mysteries of thy body and thy blood, that we may ever feel within ourselves the fruit of thy redemption, who livest and reignest forever and ever. Amen. Prayer 166 Rhythm O Godhead hid devoutly, I adore thee, who truly art within the forms before me. To thee, my heart, I bow with bended knee, as failing quite in contemplating thee. Sight, touch, and taste in thee are each deceived. The ear alone most safely is believed. I believe all the Son of God has spoken than truth's own word there is no truer token. God only on the cross lay hid from view, but here lies hid at once the manhood too, and I, in both professing my belief, make the same prayer as the repentant thief. Thy wounds, as Thomas saw, I do not see, yet thee confess, my Lord and God, to be. Make me believe thee evermore and more, in thee my hope, in thee my love to store. O thou, memorial of our Lord's own dying, O bread, that living art and vivifying, make ever thou my soul on thee to live, ever a taste of heavenly sweetness give. O loving pelican, O Jesu, Lord, Unclean I am, but cleanse me in thy blood, of which a single drop for sinners spilt is ransom for a world's entire guilt. Jesu, whom for the present veiled I see, what I so thirst for, O vouchsafe to me, that I may see thy countenance unfolding and may be blessed thy glory in beholding. Amen. Prayer 167, Sequence. Laud, O Sion, thy salvation. Laud with hymns of exaltation. Christ, thy King and Shepherd true. Spend thyself his honor raising, who surpasseth all thy praising. Never canst thou reach his due. Sing today the mystery showing of the living, life bestowing, bread before thee set, and the same of old provided, where the twelve divinely guided at the holy table met. Full and clear ring out thy chanting, joy, nor sweetest grace be wanting to thy heart and soul today. When we gather up the measure of that supper and its treasure, keeping feast in glad array. Lo, the new king's table gracing, this new Passover of blessing, hath fulfilled the elder right. Now the new, the old defaceth, truth revealed, the shadow chaseth, day is breaking on the night. His own act at supper seated, Christ ordained to be repeated in his memory divine. Wherefore, now with adoration, we, the host of our salvation, consecrate from bread and wine this truth, this the truth to Christians given, bread becomes his flesh from heaven, 
wine becomes his holy blood. Doth it pass thy comprehending? Faith, the law of sight, transcending, leaps to things not understood. Yea, beneath these signs are hidden glorious things to sight forbidden. Look not on the outward sign. Wine is poured and bread is broken, but in either sacred token, Christ is here by power divine. Whoso of this food partaketh, rendeth not the Lord, nor breaketh. Christ is whole to all that taste. Thousands are as one receivers, one as thousands of believers, takes the food that cannot waste. Good and evil men are sharing, one repast, a doom preparing, varied as the heart of man. Doom of life or death awarded, as their days shall be recorded, which from one beginning ran. When the sacrament is broken, doubt not in each severed token, hallowed by the word once spoken, resteth all the true content. Not the precious gift divideth, breaking, but the sign betideth, he himself the same abideth, nothing of his fullness spent. Lo, the angel's food is given to the pilgrim who hath striven. See the children's bread from heaven, which on dogs may not be spent. Truth, the ancient types fulfilling, Isaac bound, a victim willing, Paschal lamb, its life blood spilling, manna to the fathers sent. Very bread, good shepherd, tend us. Jesu, of thy love, befriend us. Thou refresh us, thou defend us. Thine eternal goodness send us in the land of life to see. Thou who all things canst and knowest, who on earth such food bestowest, Grant us with thy saints thou lowest, where the heavenly feast thou showest, fellow heirs and guests to be. Amen.